But I'd like to start here, mostly because our culture is alive, strong, vibrant, and practiced today. So cultural sites don't have to be pre-colonisation. Cultural sites can still be present and new. I'm lucky enough to be a part of this for a few years now, and I think every year we get better as a club in uh, celebrating Indigenous peoples and First Nations peoples. We will talk a little bit about the impact of colonisation because it was a factor, obviously, within the landscape. But even to that extent, I like to talk about, from a positive, the survival of our people and the survival of our culture. Well, it's what we know is the Arrow River today. It's actually wrong. It's misnamed. So Birung is the true name and also the true description of this river. But I just want to stop here for a little bit of history, to be honest. This is known as William Barrack Bridge. If it's going to have an Aboriginal name, it's got to be significant for where we are. Now, William Barrack would have been one of Australia's first ever activists, freedom fighters, and also significant Aboriginal artists. So another walk down Birrung Ma, um, seeing a lot of artefacts and sites of uh, cultural significance uh, to Aboriginal people. And always good to just have a refresher on the, the history of the place where we're lucky enough to play. That legacy of those stories still sit within our community today. All of us in our communities have been impacted by the stolen generations in one way or another. And we still live with that today. So it's not old, it's not history, it is a part of who we are. Tiffany's done a great job, she did a great job of explaining it and oftentimes you look at it and you think, wow, that looks cool, but the significance and the detail that goes into it and how it all links together is something really special and it's it's honestly one of our, our favourite rounds of the year. The, the jerseys every year, they look amazing and more and more are getting added to it throughout the um, you know, the important artwork. So we look forward to it. We love it. We love doing this stuff. Being given the opportunity to work with Melbourne United on their journey is a really significant and important opportunity for me and I don't take it for granted. So when you wear this jersey, you're not only representing me, you're representing my grandfather and you're representing all the women and men from the stolen generation and to support and walk the journey with us to help us break the cycle of transgenerational trauma.